here in Haiti, with its scarcity of natural resources and unemployment rate of nearly 80%, malnutrition affects one in five children. So the first thing that happens when you're malnourished is your weight goes down, and then your height goes down, and then your head goes down. And so your brain is affected permanently. We see a lot of suffering, we see a lot of death. We see families that come in with kids that they have no hope. They throw up, they have diarrhea, they swell up, and many, many die. This is Nalaika. She is three years old and weighs 23 pounds. As you can see, um, her legs are very swollen and tight. If you press on them, you can see that you leave an indentation in her skin there. This is Salinor. He's 15 months old and weighs just eight pounds. His mother has taken him to two different hospitals for care. When she goes to a hospital, they tell her that he's malnourished and he doesn't have a sickness that they can take care of. Traditionally difficult to treat, child malnutrition has confounded public health officials. When children are severely malnourished, they fall into this deep hole of malnutrition that is chronic infection, immune suppression, poor appetite, and they can never be pulled out of the hole with regular food. In the early 2000s, pioneering research began to change the landscape of child malnutrition therapy. Working in Malawi, doctors Mark Maneri and Andre Brian proved that severely malnourished children could be saved by feeding them a special kind of fortified peanut butter. The new peanut butter-based treatment was named RUTF, or ready-to-use therapeutic food. The ingredients are simple, peanuts, sugar, oil, powdered milk, vitamins and minerals. And it's not made with water. It won't spoil. It does not need refrigeration and it does not require hospitalization. The parents can give this at home. In 2003, Dr. Wolf founded Meds and Foods for Kids, or MFK, to treat child malnourishment in Haiti using RUTF. MFK's ready-to-use therapeutic food became known in Creole as Medica Mamba, or peanut butter medicine. When they start taking the Medica Mamba, their hair color changes, their skin, which used to be puffy, is no longer puffy. Their eyes are clear. They play, they smile, a big change. Dr. Wolf decided early on to produce Medica Mamba in Haiti. She began in a church schoolroom, roasting peanuts over an open flame, grinding the peanuts by hand, and delivering the mamba in plastic tubs to outpatient clinics. When we first came to Haiti, we thought rescue was enough. We congratulated ourselves for saving the lives of children. But after being here for a while, we asked ourselves, where is the rescue going except to more rescue? Dr. Wolf began to see that there could be no real improvement for these malnourished children without a solution to poverty. The families lacked any opportunity for a steady income. Employment was the answer. So she hired Tom Steele, a newly minted MBA, and together they prepared a business plan and adopted a social enterprise model. We needed to produce these foods in Haiti with Haitian labor and with Haitian peanuts to the extent that we could, thereby stimulating economic development in a country that so desperately needed it. Fido Forrestal grew up with his aunt and dreamed of a better life for himself. When MFK announced a job opening, he jumped at the opportunity and tested higher than all other applicants on the required exam. There's a lot of people who have the skills required but don't have the opportunity to be employed in a plant. But I'm glad I have that chance so I can provide for myself and my family. Soon, MFK was saving the lives of thousands of children. They trained Haitian healthcare workers, set up malnutrition clinics, and developed a partnership with Nutraset a leading producer of RUTF globally. Since the beginning of the story of MFK, we, we have seen that they are very perseverant, they succeed. 
All along, the team fostered big dreams, including one few thought possible, an 18,000 square foot factory in Cap Haitian. It is absolutely thrilling considering where they started in a small storefront in downtown Cap Haitian. Over the last three years, we have raised the funds and got all the resources together to make this happen. And today's the day that we invite everybody in to celebrate. This is my greatest joy to see uh, someone with a great heart to help, especially the children of Haiti. The new MFK factory opened its doors and has the capacity to treat 80,000 children a year. If you hear a, a thump, 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 that's the heartbeat of the organization. To me, the thump represents a life saved. 50 times a minute, 150 sachets is one box. One box represents one child's life. So every three minutes, Meds and Food for Kids is producing enough life-saving foods to treat one child. Few are more excited about the work of MFK than the peanut farmers who have found a market for their crop. Marie is a Haitian mother, grandmother, community leader, and businesswoman. Although her parents and grandparents were farmers, she had given up on growing peanuts until she began working with the MFK agricultural team. I have a great relationship with MFK. When I first started growing peanuts, they didn't grow like they do now. They've been growing peanuts here for hundreds of years but they haven't really invested in improving the genetics or testing new varieties. So what's interesting about this peanut field is they're trying different kinds of peanuts. They're trying to see what works best to these conditions. The MFK team invested in agronomy research. With the help of the University of Georgia faculty, they have trained over 1,000 Haitian farmers to produce more and better peanuts. I make more money now than I used to. MFK allows us to advance really, really far in growing peanuts. The impacts that we're looking for are really just starting to happen now, where people increase their yields by 20, 30, 40, 100 percent. When we buy a lot of peanuts from those communities, their children will no longer be malnourished and, and they, they won't need Medicamom anymore. The first 1,000 days of a child's life is most crucial. This is when their brains and bodies need the best nutrition, and it starts in utero. That's why MFK began producing a nutritional supplement for pregnant and nursing mothers. It's difficult to find the right food to eat while I'm pregnant. Now MFK has a supplement that will allow me to have the best for my baby. Rosemary enrolled her child in a program for at-risk infants, 6 to 12 months old. MFK recently proved that with a small dose of a peanut butter supplement, NutraButter, malnutrition could be prevented in these at-risk infants. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. seven children. Natalie has seven children two of whom were adopted after the 2010 earthquake. She knows her children do not always learn best when they're hungry. That's why the MFK team is currently working on a nutritious snack that will optimize the learning of school children. We are part of the coming transformation in Haiti. Children will be better nourished. Children will learn better in school. By preventing malnutrition, MFK is helping all children get a healthier start in life. Haiti, buffeted by hurricanes, ravaged by earthquakes, and historically difficult to govern. Long before the 2010 quake, Haiti was a perennial recipient of international aid, which some have seen as a never-ending pattern. Their deep roots in Haiti over a long period of time MFK 
has known otherwise. They will bring real economic change. They will create jobs and invest in the farmers who grow peanuts. And then it will save the lives of those children who are sick. We love the products. We love that it's made here in Haiti, that they know as they're feeding the kids the peanut butter that one of their own people was the one that produced it. That means a lot to them. People immediately grasp the fact that if you want to do something about the world situation, instead of just talking about it and thinking about it in the abstract, this is a terrific way to do it. With your help, we can continue to save the bodies, minds, and futures of children like Nalika in Salanoa. We can employ and train many more talented workers like Fredo and Fido. We can provide a steady income for farm families like Marie's. The inspiring work of MFK is helping to create a self-sustaining society that grows its own food, feeds its own people, provides for its own needs, and most of all, provides healthy, promising futures for its children.